Hi folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And today we're going to be talking about Disney, Blue Sky Studios, and Ice Age Scrat Tales. So to really get into this topic, I think we need to go all the way back to the Fox uh, acquisition merger. Okay, so a while back, you guys might have heard of it. One of the biggest acquisitions in like human history here, Disney purchased Fox and was able to get like everything in their in their you know arsenal like the Home Alone movies they got Futurama they got uh Family Guy they got the Simpsons uh they got like everything right <laughs> they got everything that Fox owned including the mutants right the X-Men um, which, you know, Disney owns like all the Marvel characters, but they didn't own the rights to the Marvel characters. Some of them, just some of them like Spider-Man, Sony owns the movie rights to Spider-Man. And previously Fox owned the fantastic four and, um, what was, uh, sorry. And yeah, the X-Men, I think they owned one more. I can't remember. Was it the silver server or something? They own some other weird one, Namor, the fish man or whatever. <laughs> Namor, I think, yeah, yeah, whatever the heck that Namor, I think they owned him or somebody else owned him, but, um, yeah, so they got like everything in this deal. And one of the things they got was blue sky studios, which was the creators of things like ice age or Rio, another popular, you know, thing they made. So blue sky studios got acquired by Disney. And as soon as Disney acquired all of these things, they look, they went like, you know, studio by studio and they started cutting them. You know, they started saying, okay, we only really wanted the franchises. You know, we wanted like Futurama. We wanted ice age. We don't necessarily need the studios. We can make, you know, we have our own Disney animators. We could probably make this ourselves. Right? So what the, that's exactly what they did. They started cutting jobs here and there. Um, and I think not every person, but a large majority of Blue Sky Studios employees were sadly let go. And this happened during the pandemic. You know, you guys might remember like Disney was even, they had to borrow money from Canada, which is where I live. And that's only, that's why I bring that up because yeah, I thought that was funny. They were so desperate for money to stay afloat during the pandemic that they actually had to borrow money from Canada. And, uh, <laughs> which I, I'm, I'm assuming they probably paid back by now, but who the heck knows? But, um, yeah, so very tragic. All these people lost their jobs during the pandemic. And, uh, many people are very angry at Disney as you know, many, many people, uh, these days are very angry at Disney getting very political there, you know, with the whole, uh, Florida, there was that bill in Florida, uh, that prevented, uh, you know, the groomers, uh, from grooming children under ages, what was it, uh, kindergarten to grade three and Disney was in full support of it. And, you know, some of the people walked out and then they had like the conservatives actually walked out on Disney also. So both sides are very angry at Disney right now. Politically there's like, whatever, God only knows, maybe the walkouts are still happening. Who knows? But um, Disney is in hot water. I think their stock dropped recently. I saw a video from Clownfish TV uh, a couple that like yesterday, I think, that said that their Disney, uh, the Disney shares, actually fell by quite a bit. So a lot's been going on with Disney. <laughs> Let's just put it lightly there. A lot's been going on with old Disney, and um, there was drama because this was the last project that. Uh, Blue Sky Studios employees ever worked on, right? Ice Age Scrat Tales. This was their final sort of, you know, piece to, or what do you call it? Swan Song. There we go. Swan. The, you guys should look that term up. Swan Song. It was like their final big last hurrah. Uh, so it was Blue Sky Studios Swan Song here. And um, basically... They put out a trailer, Disney put out a trailer, and they didn't even credit or acknowledge that Blue Sky Studios existed, right? They closed down Blue Sky Studios, and they basically said, well, you know, let's just put the Disney logo on this. No one's going to give a shit. And um, it, it, all of these employees, like like I said, they were, they many of them, not all of them, not all, they did mention that some of them got to keep their jobs by moving over to some of the, like, the Disney animation studios and whatever. But 
many disgruntled employees. They came on Twitter and they're like, how could they release this trailer? It, it's just very frustrating. They released this trailer. They didn't give any credit to Blue Sky Studios. And they just felt it was a slap in the face from Disney on top of being fired, you know? <laughs> uh, so, my God. So, they were all just pissed off. Very, very pissed off. And uh, what do you guys think happened, right? So, there was a huge backlash. Uh, they were going crazy on Twitter. And there was some drama on both sides back and forth. And finally, after all this time, the show just released a couple days ago. And so I have it. I, I Now, I don't condone piracy here. I'm not condoning piracy. But I went online and I have, this is it, Scrat Tales right here. Uh, Scrat Tales Season 1. And I wanted to see if they actually credited Blue Sky Studios in the credits. You know, at the very end, I wanted to uh, double check and see if they actually gave Blue Sky Studios the credit they deserved. For, uh, you know, for being the last kind of product that Blue Sky ever made. Um, and so I also have to give a shout out to one of my subscribers, Jolly Dark, who actually said, uh, you know, he watched the episode first and told me about it yesterday that, yes, indeed, they did give credit. But here's where things get interesting, folks. Where do you think they gave the credit? Do you think they gave it at the very end of the episode? Let's click this play button and find out what happens as soon as this episode starts. Now, isn't that interesting, huh? <laughs> isn't that interesting? They <laughs> they got oh man, they got they must have taken that uh, backlash right to heart, huh, folks? Because not only did this episode of Scrat Tales start every episode of Scrat Tales. It starts with Blue Sky Studios fading to white and black. And then, as soon as the episode starts, it once again, Blue Sky Studios presents up in front. They they really wanted the Blue Sky's employees to, uh, you know, employees to see this. Um, so, I have to, uh, on one hand, yeah, I have to give credit to Disney uh, for at least, you know, honor, you know, owning up to it. They, they, uh, they did, they gave the credit that the credit was due here. Um, so I do have to give them, uh, you know, at least one thumbs up, not two. You don't get two because they were originally not planning to, uh, give them credit. And, um, I'm glad that they decided, I mean, possibly were forced into, <laughs> uh, they would have looked so bad if they didn't give the credit here. So they, they basically kind of had to. So, you know, kudos to all the blue sky studio employees that forced Disney to, or, you know, I acknowledge that they still existed, you know, that they weren't just part of a silly old merger. They actually, they were employees for Blue Sky Studios. They were true patriots of the company and uh, they wanted Disney to know it and, and they got their wish. They, they got their wish. Blue Sky Studios, you know, good job. This is your final hurrah, your swan song. And I'm very glad that we got to see the credit where the credit was due. So, you know, I don't want to drag this video on too long. Yes, they did indeed give the credit. And um, I'm glad. Uh, the only other thing now is... Uh, <laughs> I, I kind of wanted to see the reaction. I, I don't have Twitter. That's the problem. I, I kind of want to see the reactions from the uh, the old employees to see like, hey, you know, were they, were they satisfied by this? Are they still angry? They're probably still angry because... You know, Disney fired them, but you know, I'd I'd be angry too if Disney fired me, um, or or what do they call it, like furlough or laid off? They they have different terms here. Not not they don't use like fired straight out, but um, yeah. So this is probably going to be the last time we ever see the Blue Sky Studios logo, unless they bring it back. Maybe maybe Disney will like I don't know, bring it back for a new Ice Age film. I I don't know. Probably not. I th I really do think this is the last time we're going to see. This, well, not this logo, but this logo, right? I think this is like the last time, the last hurrah here, the very last hurrah for Blue Sky. So that's going to be it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, shout outs to Jolly Dark for, uh, you know, watching it and telling me this was actually in there because I might have missed this. I might have just missed this. So Jolly Dark, thank you. Thumbs up. You get two thumbs up. Disney, Disney doesn't get a two thumbs up. They get only one. You get a two thumbs up. So thank you, Jolly. 
And um, that's going to be it, folks. Uh, please like, please share, please subscribe, and watch an ad for your boy, Sandro. Thank you very much. I'm trying to do this full time. That's all from me. Peace out. See you guys next time when we won't have the Blue Sky Studios logo in a Disney production. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye.